And on Netflix, there was this documentary what? about guys and like idols and how much money they spend on their idols. Oh, it is a crazy amount that they spend. Like, there's one guy that bought, um, I think it was 25,000 copies of this one chick CD just to get the handshaking tickets. Because every handshaking ticket you got was like a second. And he wound up getting five minutes. Oh, are you waiting for a train? Yeah, because okay. they're they're random, they're uh, random tickets in randomly the in each one. Oh, holy crap! That's evil. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, why why the, would I know this? The whole the whole um, Japanese idol thing is really just a giant prostitution ring. Like, don't get me. Oh yeah, yeah. That that that, that basically came across in the documentary. It's um, like they're basically like selling themselves. Like it's a sexual thing. To, re- to almost a point. It's like and a- it's funny because um, if they go out with someone that's not a high-profile actor, their fans turn on them. Yeah. Like, there was this one idol that went out with um, some random guy. Mm-hmm. It was, like, one of her fans. Her fans turned on her, called her a dirty whore, they sent her death threats, all this horrible stuff. Jeez. And I'm just like, you figure you'd be happy for the guy. He was just some random otaku that fucking got the girl of his dreams. Yeah. Got the date. By the way, welcome back to Backlog Bites. <laughs> hey there. That's Joshua. This is Tony. Yeah, thank you, Tony. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's a whole gotcha system. It's just there's, they print so many tickets... And they put them in so few CDs that guys will spend um, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. Millions of yen, hundreds of thousand yeah. dollars. That is nuts. Just so they can have like... Shake their hands for an extended sh- amount of time. It's not You don't get a hug. You don't get a kiss. The guy got a five minute handshake. That was all he got. Well... Holy crap, five minute handshake? Good grief. Oh, idol otakus are the creepiest sons of bitches alive. And that's coming from someone that knows about vor, someone that knows about diaper fetish, someone that knows about adult baby play. Man, that's just These people creep me out. I'm fine with like di- adult diaper baby fetish. I don't get yeah. it. I judge it, but I don't, I don't, I don't understand the idols at all. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, you could buy a prostitute. What I don't understand is the fact that there's, like, freaking kids that want to go off and be idols. Like, well, this is, like, you know, what they want to do. Well, that's because, uh, think of it this way. A kid sees Steven Tyler. Yeah. And they want to be Steven Tyler. They don't see... All the sex and stuff that he gets. They just see the fame. True. So yeah. these little girls see, oh, she's famous. Hold on. Yeah, she gets Let's all the attention. Somewhere, somewhere and... in the northwest corner. Okay. She gets all the attention. She gets... A... Oh, fuck. I hate this part. Um, And how famous he is. And she gets all this money. And you... <laughs> X, triangle, circle, X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember how to do it. Along with the music. Um, and you, um, one second. All right, I fucked up. Fuck it. Okay, and you, that's how you become an actress in Japan. It's not like in the U.S. where you apply and you become an actor or yeah. an actress. In Japan, you have to work as an idol and then progress to an actress. <laughs> and and idols are so they get a life of so much attention that when they turn 20 and they become used too old yeah they often result to porn because they just want people to care about them Ugh. like you'll it's see crazy. so many uh, idols that go into the adult video industry in Japan and I didn't want to talk to you. 
And it's just ridiculous. And when they talk about it, the one guy I want to talk to isn't. Well, one of these guys will talk about, uh, no, not you. Here, I talk to you. One of these guys will mention which, which of the guards are lazy, right? Yeah, I think it's this guy. Wouldn't it be random? No, it's a guy in the northwest corner. Is it this guy? Uh, new place. What here? Nope. Yeah, I think it's just a random guy. No, nah, it's there's it's a specific guy. I've talked to him multiple times. Huh. Okay. I just don't remember which one. So, oh, yeah. you being a manager for a day basically locks you out of promotions? Well, I mean, you, yeah, you're not really an employee. But, okay. Um, it doesn't matter. It's going to auto-do it. So, like, I'll talk to this guy that gave you the letter. And then, I mean, I'll talk to him. Um, yeah, you, you, could, you should really look at how many Japanese porn stars used to be idols it's a high amount okay like a high amount it's quite alarming for what here's like there's a high number of females but then it's like a very small amount of like male porn stars in japan well yeah that's true uh that's because um well that's because the porn industry in japan is still 100 percent owned by the yakuza Ugh. Like, anybody that starts uh, a legit porn, um... Company? Porn company gets raided by the police. Holy crap. Yeah, you never heard of that? No. Yeah. There there was this one studio that started doing hentai, and they got raided by the police for child pornography, even though all their hentai was old, was clearly older people. Yeah. It was clearly the people 21 plus. They didn't do anything with lollies. They didn't have the whole vampire shtick. They were just adults. And they got... Let me look Rated. Up. Second area. Employee inside the factory. Second floor. Okay. Um, and they got raided for child pornography. Craziness. But they... Like, <laughs> bless you. But like I said, bless you. They're just getting the blessings. They, um... But they didn't do anything. By the way, manager. You're welcome. Um... So one of the guys is lazy. Is he gonna go talk to him, or just gonna... No, 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 no. Find out which one it is? Or hide out? Random hole. <laughs> Like, I don't need to work for today. <laughs> um, and then there was uh, a studio that started with mature Asian. Shit. Did you start a timer? Because I forgot to. No. We'll just start this one at 10 minutes. Fuck it. There's a studio that started doing uh, mature Asian porn. Yeah. And they got raided for child pornography. Even though the youngest one of their actresses was, was 45. Oh. So basically, like, they were just in, like, the Yakuza pocket. Yeah. The money. The Japanese police are horribly known to be in the Yakuza <coughs> pocket. Yeah, right? That is... Pretty screwed up. For as much as like there's like stigma against the Yakuza, there is still a lot of businesses that work around revolve around the Yakuza. That I mean the game industry in Japan revolves around the Yakuza. Alright. Uh first combination is one, two, three. Thank you. 
um, like there are reports of game industry people working with Nintendo who have had their daughters kidnapped and forced into sex slavery because they're working with Nintendo. Because Nintendo is 100% owned by them and are, is not financed through the Yakuza. Alright. Ugh. That was pretty ridiculous. Yeah. So what do I do here? Uh, next combination is three, two, one. Then I go to three, two, one. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like you just keep going to the train. Okay. I don't get car. anything at one, two, three. Nope. You just keep going until the very end. Unless you're supposed to hide. But I mean, you already did the hiding part. Yeah, thing. I already did the hiding part. So, three, two, one. Repeat the process until you reach the final location. Alright, and then last one, uh, next one is 444. So these are just different construction sites? I guess so. That's like one freakishly elaborate safe, man. 444. Four, four. Like you just have to ride the train in very particular <laughs> stops. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But it's like all automated, right? Like we just punch it in and it just does a thing. Mm -hmm. All right. And last one is five, six, four. Five, six, four? Yeah. Five, six, four. But yeah, the, de the deal with the game industry being financed the Yakuza is because uh, in Japan, um, entertainment is not seen as like a, an important thing. Oh, well, there you go. It's not seen as an important thing? Yeah, like, it's it's seen... I don't know if childish is the right word. I guess immature. It's probably, well, probably childish. It's seen as immature. Yeah, immature, not things that grown-ups do. Yeah, so... You're the president now. Of the company? Yes. All it takes is a card? Yes. Wow. That is... You can start firing people, too. Craziness. Oh, because he picked up the president card. Yep. Is this because basically you did just identify as like, I'm the president. Basically. Oh. Dick. Love paper. Silly, not creepy at all. Whoever that mole looking thing is. He's a trash can. Oh, wow. Okay. That looks like the same thing that pops out of the tree. Basically, there, I mean. Alright. Well, because. Oh, go on. So, one of the few things I know that Yakuza does do is that most of the, like, English teaching classes in Japan that takes like like um like people from like colleges here to teach English in Japan are mostly like Yakuza funded mm -hmm. or are like Yakuza owned like things which is like ridiculous when you think about it like you're, like your college student going to Japan to teach English to people and the companies you work for are basically Yakuza owned like just or managed Companies. Well, like, a lot of stuff in Japan is Yakuza owned or Yakuza managed. Like I said, anything in the entertainment industry, any arcades, any pachinko parlors, any um, obviously like bathhouses and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's owned. So, <laughs> and it's it's known to be owned. 
And that when someone decides to, say, open up their own arcade, they get raided by the police for illegal gambling. Yeah, there are, there are arcades that opened up just fighting games or just pinball. Get raided for illegal gambling. Ugh. So, they're trans fucked on so many levels. Just gotta fight that corruption. Hurts. The anime industry is 100% owned by Yakuza as well. That's... That's hard to imagine. Every every anime studio is funded you mean by... The, like, the studios are production companies. I can imagine every production company. Pro okay, so... Like, like, the, like the, the distribution companies. The So, the studios... Basi okay, so the production companies... All funded by Yakuza shell companies. How, and then you go down to the anime studios. Basically, those live off of Yakuza funds. Either the Yakuza's directly fund them, or they get funded from the production companies. Hmm. Very few anime studios are like studios here where you just have your money and the money you make from your show broadcasting no that that rarely happens because the production company eats up a majority of the funding so crazy and so. like even like I said even game studios game studios are funded by the yakuza because banks won't fund them because it's seen as too much of a risk it's not just seen as so much of a risk, or it's seen as something wanna... that's like not important. Oh. So banks yeah. are just like blow it off and then you have to go through the Yakuza to get funded like Capcom still funded by the Yakuza. And that is that is scary on so many different levels. Mm-hmm. Things you things you do to be serious as work. To be seen as serious work mm -hmm. and yet it's not It's not a legit business. Even though it like, affects the economy. Like, in large part, here or there. Mm hmm Or it's just, everyone's ashamed to be known. Like, I played video games at one point or another. Like, like this is a hidden fact. Basically. Ugh. So, is waiting, is waiting around pretty common in this game? Yes. Just gotta wait for, like, time to pass? Yes. Can't just, like, smoke a blunt, or, like, in <laughs> Metal Gear Solid or anything like that? The fuck did that come from? Smoke a blunt. Okay, so in Metal Gear, uh, s Solid Five, the newest one, mm -hmm. um, was the Phantom Pain or whatever it is. Uh, when the b you can have a cigar that's full of various herbs and like basically drugs, um, that lets you pass the time. Like, super fast. You just, like, whip it out, you, you set your timer, and then, like, the world goes by, and, like, day becomes night. Like, just like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, a way to instantly cause time to tr fly by. But, basically, the ingredients you're gathering to to make these, cig these cigars are basically drugs. Like, they're... No, Tulip does not have... <laughs> Tulip may have child prostitution, but it does not have child drug use, okay? <laughs> But you still dive to the trash like some sort of third world <laughs> well, yeah. sound. Well, I mean, that's just how it goes. I make them bow. I make them bow. To all the graves. Respect your dead, your families, and your elders, and whatever else. I hell blew this is. up a gravestone. Here? Yes. Why? That's one of the puzzles. When you finish the puzzle, it caused one of them to blow up. Oh, shit. We'll see you next time on Backlog Buddies. Bye.